It's not about a particular date to uh, open up society, start our economy, go back to work, go back to school. We need to really stay uh, closely on top of the virus to understand what's happening out there in the community. There are a number of things that we, we want to look at in order to think about reopening, if you will. Those are very clearly improvements in the capacity of the healthcare system to respond, very clearly increasing number of public health workers who are able to identify cases and quickly test their contacts, and then putting in place all the social supports that are needed for people who may need to be in quarantine for 14 more days. I think some of the worry that we, we have about moving forward too rapidly is that we don't want to see another large peak in cases and deaths. That would require all of us to go back to shelter in place, to shutting everything down again. And it would involve uh, having a very fragile healthcare system to have to re-engage again with large, large numbers of patients. We don't want that to happen. Those areas of the country that were early to have cases, thinking about places like Washington, parts of California, New York State, those places are moving forward and are starting to see some plateauing of new uh, infections. So we're, we're cautiously optimistic that those localities will start to level out over the coming weeks. It's important to think about what, what the most vulnerable populations are up against. So these are places like nursing homes, certainly homeless populations. Those folks that are often very subject to rapid transmission of the virus, any thought about moving forward with opening up our stay-at-home orders, we really have to first make sure we've got those situations well under control.